We simply have to focus on this man. On the back of a hat-trick, will he continue to excel? The action is live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a very pleasant day for football here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal versus Leicester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number five, Thomas And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Granit Xhaka plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the lineup for Leicester City. Johnny Evans plays alongside Yannick Vestergaard in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they've given him too much space. He's in control of the situation. Arsenal have possession again. Space afforded him. In with a chance. Well, I must say, Stuart, every reason to believe this will be one-sided. Our hosts are the most prolific goal scorers in the league, while their opponents have the poorest return of any front line. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how they oh, come. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game! nil then Partey can he find the right pass and you need your defender to take charge Dennis Pryat now with Barnes on to Pratt Madison, opportunity, and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Taken short. No luck keeping possession. Martin Odegaard could be a chance to break here. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And a decent delivery.
Tomiyasu. Can he play it in? Well, the post got in the way. Harvey Barnes. Terrific block. And a poor ball. Madison. And will it be the leveller? Oh, a superb save. They take it short. Madison. Holding the ball up here, waiting for others to arrive. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. So the ball is moving again, and work to do for Leicester in this second half. For Leicester City. So a personnel change then. Number 22, Kiernan Dewsbury Hill, to be replaced by number 8, Rory Tillemans. But he's gone short with it. Party. Saka. And he could really get at the opposition. Must be! Oh, a goal for Arsenal! It's theirs to lose now. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Dennis Pryat. Well, as the stats confirm, Leicester have had the lion's share of possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Well, certainly, and here they are passing the ball around once more. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Well, opting for the short corner. Tielemans. A goal! And it's very much game on here! Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Leicester City well, Leicester goal. still trailing here, but this game very much a contest again. Ndidi on to Pratt Vardy on to Tiedemans giving it a try and throwing himself at the ball so making the substitution now Well, they're going for the short one. James Madison. Must be! Oh, a goal! Level now! The lead has evaporated! Oh. 
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So the ball is running again at 2 all. And they will make the change now. Over it comes. Clattered away. Has eyes for goal. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Not a time for cool heads. Vardy. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Vardy. Able to skip past his man. Putting his body on the line. Interception to snuff out the danger. And with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought both teams were very positive, though, going hammer and tongs from the very start. And I think the draw is probably the fair result.
When the draw was made for this round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably two of the favourites to go all the way. It's going to be fascinating. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. Stuart, your expectations? Well, thanks, Derek. The scene is set for a really good game tonight. We've got a great atmosphere inside this stadium. Let's hope the players perform. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. Can he do it? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Berg. Wonderfully weighted pass, but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Amal Pellegrino. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But the danger averted for now. Fine teamwork to win it back. Martin Odegaard. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. Possession lost, intercepted. Martin Odegaard still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Must be! In it goes! The opening goal in this contest!
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Berg. Not showing good patience. Well, very effective play in possession. Well, it came to nothing in the end. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Body in the way. Will it happen for them? Xhaka. Firing it in. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Martin Odegaard. Well, they have the ball once more. It might be. And it goes! A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Arsenal recovering possession well. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. And fine work from Arsenal to win it back. Tommy Yasu. Martin Odegaard. An Arsenal corner. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. And now the delivery. Well, the danger is still there. He'll take this on. Able to get a body in the way. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Something to worry about here. And it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. We're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. And 
the counter attack is on options available good vision can he get onto this and diving to thwart him Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Gabriel. It's with Gabriel. Abraham. Can he take advantage? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. So they restart the game and only one team in it. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Tremendous ball played through. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.